Hello YouTube, Chrome Freak here. This is going to be a video response to my buddy right here, Looking For Me Marbles. Mike over at Looking For Me Marbles. This is his uh, YouTube page right here. Just a great guy. And this is going to be an entry into his contest. Let me scroll down so you can see the video a little bit. Deal with me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm using my iPhone here because I just do not have the time to get this up and render a video and all that. It's going to be white hat white hat holsters max tuck holsters giveaway and uh, I've heard a little bit about these holsters and the crossbreeds and all that but I've never owned a crossbreed breed sorry style holster I'm I'm kind of iffy with the in the waistband stuff let me show you right here Ramora I have this in the waistband holster and I also have a Galco I do not like the Galco. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I just don't. It's uncomfortable to me. And um, I've given it to my son. My son likes it. So he, he he's using that. I'm not. I just do not like it. Real quickly. quickly. I cannot speak. Wow. I'm tired. Glock 27. As you can see, it's already been made safe. Springfield XDM 40. It's been made safe. This little holster right here is a little pocket holster I use for my kel P32 and also my 25 and a couple of other little goodies that'll fit inside there. This holster, I'm loving this holster as much as I'm loving the Remora. Both these holsters right here are the two that I, I, I really use a lot. This is a Cobra holster sold at K&W um, Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns. It's locally made here in South Florida, and it's a great holster. It's Kydex wrapped in um, leather, and it's an outside. You wear it on your waistband. And I, my, I mean, me being a Florida guy, I mainly wear my shirts untucked 99% of the time. So this works out really nice. And when I'm not wearing that, I, I in fact, this the 27 came out of the Remora. I was actually wearing it in the waistband when I got off of work today. So I, I took it out of there and made it safe. I do use the Remora. I do like it. What I really like about the Remora inside the waistband holster is you can put it where you want to put it. If you're sitting in your truck and you want to have easier access to it or whatever the case may be, you can move it around. You can put it down in your pants as low as you like or ride it as high as you, as you feel comfortable doing it. This holster, the first couple of days wearing it, I was, to be honest with you, it took me a couple of days. After a couple of days, and the thought process of getting rid of the, as Shotgun Shanty would say, get rid of the clip, um, it works great. I, I, I absolutely love this holster. It's, it's kind of broken in now, and I, I, I wear it a lot. Now, what Marbles wants in this video, and the, and the gentleman from White Hat Holsters, is what you don't like about inside the waistband holsters. Well, the only one I really could compare it to is actually two of them. This Remora, which I like a lot, and the Galco. What I don't like is this one here is not so much. Maybe because it's, it's so soft and, and soft-sided. But my regular pant size, my waist, I actually have to have a bigger size pair of pants to wear the Galco with any kind of comfort at all. Otherwise, the pants are just... I mean, you know, your waist size is going to grow the thickness of this gun, obviously, and the holster. So you got to keep that in mind. I rarely hear people talk about that with inside the waistband, but, you know, think about the clothes you buy. How tight is, it, is the waist in your pants? Because it's going to be a whole lot tighter when you stick a gun in, in between there and, and your skin. I can promise you that. But anyway, that's, what I, that's one of the things I don't like it about the inside the waistband is, is the discomfort. Now, the Remora, Remora is very good at being comfortable, and I'm going to take Mike's word on it that white hat holsters are also. Now, I've heard great things about this holster and this type of holster, and I would love to give it a shot, to be honest with you, but I don't have the money to just toss out there on a holster I'm not sure if I'm going to like or not. So who knows? Maybe I'll win the contest. But I gave Mike my word that I was going to enter it, and I am. So I'm going to make it short and sweet, but real quick, you know, I... I I haven't had this gun for too long. I've had the 27 for a while now, but I want you guys to look at the difference in the OD green on these two. And I'm hoping it's showing up on the iPhone. This, the Glock's OD green to me is so much nicer. It almost look, it looks like what it's called olive drab. It looks drab compared to the almost brilliant 
O.D. Green of the Springfield. Now, you might like that. I don't know. I, I like the the plainer Glock-looking drab color. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. They are way two different colors, and I, and I hope it's showing up on this iPhone. Anyway, I'm going to go on over. Um, I'm going to sub to White Hat Holsters. I should have already done that. I've just been real busy. And real quickly before I end the video, I want to pop up another screen. I want I want you guys to visit. My boys over at Ammunition Depot, guys. If you haven't visited them yet, you should do that. Great prices on ammo. Shipping is, is what shipping is. You, whether you buy from cheaper than dirt or whoever it is over the internet, you're going to pay shipping. These guys are, are priced. Their shipping prices are right on par or lower than anybody else's. In fact, I know they are. I've checked. Now, you also have a, a code that you can use to get 5% more off of an already discounted price. And that code, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video for Looking For Me Marbles, for White Hat Holsters, for my boys at KNW and Ammunition Depot. And I'll also put that code on there. But real quick, I'll just tell you what it is. It is 5 PCT123. I did not want my name used as a code because I don't want to try to gain subs by using somebody's website like this to do it. I, I just don't think that's right. I also pay for my ammunition. I don't want you to think I'm getting something for free. I'm not. I'm, I endorse these guys. They're my partners with, with K&W because I think they put out a great product at a great price. All American ammo except for one. They do sell one that is not American made, but that ammo, ammo I, God, I can't speak tonight, has been tested thoroughly. And we're going to do some more testing on it, by the way. Brandon and I and a few other people are going to do a lot of shooting coming up here soon. I uh, joined a private range, and I cannot wait to get my card to get in. All right, guys, let's wrap this up real quick. Go on over, check, check out uh, Mike at Looking For Me Marbles. Check out White Hat Holsters. Go over there and check it out. I'll put links down there. My boys at Ammunition Depot and my partners, K&W Gunworks. All right, guys, it's Chrome Freak. We'll see you guys later.